This is my sort of armor Sailor Moon battle armor. Um, it's sort of inspired by other cosplays, so it's sort of like a crossover. Oh, really? So, yeah. So, how did you put it together? Um, just lots of warbler, foam, and stress. Oh, okay. <laughs> stress. Uh, okay, so what's the response here at this convention? Oh, it's just been so positive. It's it's so nice. People like come up to me and be like, oh, it's so awesome. Oh, it's so Thank you. <laughs> and finally, how has cosplay like uh, impacted your life? It's a really good uh, confidence boost. Um, you make loads of friends, just gain confidence. Uh, it's a good hobby as well. I mean, I've learned so much from crafting, sewing, so it's good to have. Well, the runaways are running the night. Impossible comes true. It's taking over you. Whoa! This is a great show. Um, I just. Love the original 90s like cartoon, the yeah, X-Men. Um, so I wanted to do a bit more of a, a, my own version with more of a body armor feel, um, and that went uh, over to Jean Grey as well. So like that, because I thought you know the X-Men, they're fighting bright uh, people and other like mutants all the time. They're going to get shot at, so they're going to need body armor. Right. So that's why they that kind of was the inspiration behind it. Um, so it's on phone. Yeah. So it's uh, done all foam, then just PVA and paint. So doesn't cost too much, and everyone can do it. That one, I, I just come to a couple of cons myself beforehand and see people dressed up. Um, I started making costumes prior to that for Halloween things, so and my birthday, and it just seemed like a good fit. And with me it was through gaming. So oh. I'm a gamer, and from that it was a quick step to wanting to look like FemShep. So my first costume was a femme chef. <laughs> so that's how it started. I'm excited to do him because I loved the Papa Girls as a kid growing up in like 90s culture. And it's the first time doing cosplay in like drag. So I love to merge those two things with like the lashes and the glitter and things like that. That's why I chose it really. It's amazing. Like I didn't know, like people just shouting your name, like, oh, it's him over there, I'm taking photos. And I didn't expect that. That doesn't happen like every day, does it? So it's kind of like you're a celebrity or something. So is this the most. Um Attention grabbing costume you've done? Uh, yeah, I've not done many costumes. Like I've gone to clubs thinking costumes, but not just Comic Con. It's my first time cosplaying. So yeah, it's, it's really amazing. Like, we'll just come up to you and say stuff. It's given me more confidence. I say my first thing into it was drag more than cosplay, and then it's like, okay, I can it's call it cosplay now. But yeah, it's given me more confidence to self express, to merge a male and feminine kind of thing. Obviously, it was on impulse because I thought. For once I want to try and do a character that people know and I just thought Fox, Rowdy, why not Captain Morgan? Exactly. People will recognise it. It's something that I can, you know, really go for, really be myself in, really just, <laughs> you know, act yeah. out and, you know, be, be loud, be brashy and people can look at me and think it's Captain Morgan, it's a pirate. That's how pirates are. Awesome. Yeah, so I just wanted an excuse to be loud and brashy. <laughs> we light it up, we won't come down. And the sun can't stop us now. Watching it come true, it's taking over you. Oh, this is the greatest show! I'm Vicky VJW Cosplay. I picked Elle Woods. Recently I, I had cosplayed Glinda from the, the Wicked Musical. I have to be watching Legally Blonde on uh, Netflix. A character I also cosplay is Rarity from My Little Pony. I suddenly realised that Elle Woods is the perfect combo of Rarity and Glinda. Plus I just love love the character. She's very, you know, she's very driven, very stylish and I'm, I'm a sucker for the old dogs. So I thought, why not? Go for it. The expo's been great. I mean, well, really, the last place I wore this was to London Film and Comic Con, and a lot of people thought I was a what's her name, Penelope, I think, from a uh, Thunderbirds. Until they saw oh, the dog. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, that was old. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay, that's well, until until they saw the dog, they were like, oh, it's Elle Woods. Yeah. But yes, well, I, and LFCC is more geared towards I think it's all Western stuff like Thunderbirds, like Legally Blonde. Here you get a little bit more of an anime slant, so I've, I've been quite surprised with how many how many people have you know, recognised and loved the cosplay. Uh, it's actually got me the job I, I have today. I work as a, a seamstress, I make blinds and curtains for a little upholstery company and I'm entirely self-taught with sewing, so I just happened across the, the job on the off chance. I applied, I even sort of went in with some bits of costume that I'd used upholstery fabric for, like fake leathers, 
and uh, I got the job through it. So that's yeah, it's been a big impact. Hi, my name is my real name is Romeo Dominichini, believe it or not. Uh, my cosplay moniker is Bad Eye Cosplay. I chose Shazam because A, he is my favorite superhero. I've always wanted to do this character. I love this character. I love the idea of like an innocent little boy having to be like a superhero in violent situations. It um, is amusing and heartwarming to me. Um, also, uh, when I saw that Zachary Levi was playing the character, I was like, hello! <laughs> so I thought, what better opportunity? So I jumped on the opportunity. Awesome. What's the response here at this convention? It's been pretty great, pretty great. I'm the only Shazam I've seen so far and everybody always yells, Shazam! And it's pretty fun. It's early days yet, so obviously, you know, people are still getting set in, settled into the convention. So um, it's a bit low key, but I imagine it'll pick up as the um, con, con gets busier. I have made countless, countless friends and just become such a uh, part of a really great community. Like, when you have such a out of unconventional common interest like this, you can't help but just gel together better as individuals. Um, friendliest bunch I've ever known and I could never quit this to save my life because of the community in and of itself. Sure. Uh, so hi everyone, I'm Manela. Um, I'm here all the way from the US in London and uh, I'm cosplaying Cullen from Dragon Age Inquisition right now, although it's a gender bend that I sort of designed myself. Um, mostly just I love the character so much but I didn't think I could pull off the male version so I decided to kind of do my own thing. Um, like, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I love this convention. This is my second time here, and there's some amazing, spectacular cosplay all around. And it's sort of, it's a nice chance to sort of meet people that uh, I've been following for a really long time and ever haven't actually got to see their stuff up close. So there's been kind of a lot of people getting up close and personal with armor and stuff, but I, I totally get it. To be honest, because this convention was just bought out by Reed Pop, which owns a lot of the U.S. conventions as well, it feels strangely familiar to me. Um, I was surprised by how kind of little culture shock there is, but I'd say it's a lot more sort of casual cosplays outside so like we're out in this beautiful you know courtyard right now um, and there's just mobs of cosplayers everywhere and I'm not really used to that so I'd say especially with a lot of the cons that I usually go to this one is a lot more cosplay heavy and I love it um, and yeah people have been really really sweet it's as I said it's really cool to kind of meet people we've followed for a long time and sort of get to see them in real life and everyone's really excited it's been my whole life for a long time. It's been, you know, sort of all my relationships have revolved around it. This community is amazing. Um, it, you know, it's been just all my friendships and sort of all of our events that we plan for and meeting up with people that I see once a year and stuff. Uh, so it's a really big deal. And uh, I also, I love it because it's such a good, like, engineering challenge and it's something to sort of have going on in the background to when real life gets a little crazy, um, you can kind of escape to conventions. So. Well, I started cosplay three, four years ago, where I was feeling quite isolated as my work is freelance artist, so I spend a lot of time at home just working behind the screen, so I don't interact Aww. with people as much. So. But I've seen all my friends come out to conventions and enjoy their time together. So I, so I said, you know, screw it. I might give it a try. And it was um, London Super Comic Con at the time. So I decided to actually push myself so much out of my anxiety and is being isolated and make um, like, a, like a full armor costume. Wow. And force myself to perform on stage. Did you what? Really? Yeah, so I just, I just decided why go small? Go, let's go big. <laughs> right, really right, right, challenge right. myself, you know. Yeah. So, so yeah, and I won one third place. You won third place <laughs> yes. your first time out? Yeah, it was completely amateurish. I didn't know what I was doing, but I just wanted to be brave and just have a good time. Hi, my name is Apple. I uh, started doing Jafar because he's, uh, he's a character I can relate to. Character, I, I, I like, I like, I like the his, uh, his presence, the way he, he, he takes control of what he wants to do. He's not afraid to fuck to go for what he wants regarding how inappropriate people may see me is and the villains has more fun my response not to blow me on trumpet but it's very good it's uh well who doesn't who doesn't like disney's bad boys well it's allowed me to boost an already massive ego <laughs> so it's fun i mean get on get loads of photographs it, it just brings a fantasy world to life and I spent all my time in a fantasy realm, so to see it come to life. Personally, that's what it's about for me. So, um, I normally come alone because none of my normal friends like cosplay or comic cons. So I normally come here alone and then 
I meet my kind of con friends. Yes. <laughs> and that was the first time I was in a, in a proper group and it was amazing. Yes. And yeah, so I really, for me it's about, I don't know, the costumes and also meeting people that like the same uh, kind of things that you do, so same series, TV shows, whatever, and then hanging out with them and just being silly, forgetting about your normal adult life, yes, which yes. is not, I mean, it's boring stuff, so this is and, fun and for and a few days you have to... That's the best part because yeah. you might be awkward and shy, but you see the love that you love on somebody's, you know, the whole costume. Exactly. And obviously this is art, this is all made by by you completely, yes. so yes. it's like amazing. You can start chatting about people's yes, exactly. So, and you can learn from others. Like, how did you make that? Yeah, I'm Matt, uh, Angel of Fire cosplay. Um, I'm cosplaying Tiberius from Critical Role. Um, and it, one of a one of the main characters from the original campaign. Um, I I decided to do the uh, character because I thought of it as a challenge. Lots of people have done the easier characters, but um, obviously doing a Dragonborn uh, with a dragon mask and everything else was a bit more of a challenge. Uh, and I like to challenge myself in cosplay, so that's why I decided to do this character. And it was a character in the original campaign that I associated with most. I just really enjoyed the character. How is it put together? Um, it's various various parts of it. The robes and everything else are all completely hand handmade, um, hand patterned and handmade. Um, the mask is also handmade. It's a uh, Pakora paper craft pattern that was then paper mache foam over the top, paper mache, um, liquid latex and paints. Um, the staff is again it's adapted from a um, a Gandalf staff but the crystal on top is lighting gels uh, it oh, lights light up as light, well it, wow. it does light up yeah it and yeah in various other parts but yeah all the uh, the costume itself was was built from scratch basically and yeah I have lots of lots of props including it there. Oh yeah no <laughs> keen all, all sorts of things on my belt all sort of uh, yeah compiled together um, it's it's a real social thing for me. It's like it, when when I come to cons, it's yeah, it's a big geek get together. It's uh, it really makes a difference. And um, through the Critical Role group, which is again, it's uh, the one that this costume is from. I've then started doing D and D, and you form different social groups from that, through that. So it's it's sort of a, a knock on effect. It's really uh, yeah, it really got good friendship groups from from cosplaying and uh, becoming part of the fandoms. And finally, what's the response here at this convention when people see you? It's, yeah, I've had an incredible response for this costume because <laughs> I think it's one of the rarer ones that people do. I don't, I'm not aware of anyone else doing this costume because it's sort of a, a slightly more obscure character, but also it's a challenging costume to do, to do I would imagine. Um, and yeah, I think that's uh, that's 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 been the, the main reaction has just been like, oh, people stopping me for photos, and just really enjoying it. Um, was the only no, I'm the type that type I, I, I try to do a character that is more like my skin tone, so I like to do the black characters. Uh, because I can kind of get in the mood, but I feel more real that right, way. Right, right. And he was the only, about the only black character in Suicide Squad. Yeah. And DC, I haven't done any DC characters, I've done a few Marvel, so I decided to do DC and Suicide Squad was the first to come in. And I thought the costume was cool, so I just went for it. Together, they help it. Um, so, I buy some, I make some. Um, like this, that, that, shirt, and that, they came with a costume I, I bought. Uh, bought this, bought that, now uh, 3D printed this, that? Wow. the barrel, bought this in Argos, bought this on uh, different websites, bought this on Wish, and bought this on Etsy. Oh yeah, Etsy. Yeah, made this myself, the foam ones, uh, bought this on Wish as well, um, this on Wish, this on, you know, I buy them and I make those that I can get. For me, it's mainly about the kids 
the kids see their characters on TV or in comics and then they get to see them in real life and take pictures and the excitement in their faces. All about the kids. I love the character gadget. It brings me such nostalgia back from when I was a child. And I just thought, I'm quite pocket sized if you know what I mean. So I thought she's the perfect character. She's strong, she's brainy, she's so really pretty. And I just thought, why not? So I've never made a prop before, so this was a challenge for me as I normally do like big princess gowns. But I've made the plush, I've even made the bag, like a little tall box. Oh my gosh, what hasn't it impacted in my life? I think it's made me more confident in who I am. It's made me express myself. I've met some incredible people because of it. And you know, there's not really much for our age group anymore to socialize, be communicated. And I don't think there is enough of that out there. And this is the only convention where everybody's free to be who they want to be. Kindness, generosity, have fun, dress up as your characters, and what, who wouldn't want to do that really? We always wanted to mash something with Sailor Moon, and yeah. we're thinking like Vikings or something, you know, something like a buff guy with a Sailor Moon costume, he always wanted to do something like that. Yeah. And then we watched My Hero Academia, and I was like, we need to do that. <laughs> so how long did it take to play it together? Um, I think I did mine over a couple days. Um, most of the outfit, I kind of like sewed it together. The wig took a little longer, but other than that, it was uh, yeah, two, three days. Two, like three days. I just bought mine. I just bought mine, and then he mainly made these, and then he made the boots. But that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, what's the response at this convention when people see you? What do they do? A lot of people are quite happy, and they kind of run up. And, uh, a lot of people are taking pictures, which is really good. So, I see a lot of people like Sailor Moon, a lot of people like My Hero Academia at the moment. So. We kind of treat cosplay like a holiday, like we come here twice every year because we live um, like in the west of England, okay. so we travel to London and we just treat this like a holiday and we're like, I think that's what cosplay is to us, it's just time, just chilling. Yeah. Like we're about to go to our hotel room and order some pizza now, <laughs> like in our cosplay. It's kind of like a like small holiday plus a lot of work to lead up to it. And you meet so many like friends and stuff and new people that like the same things as you, you know. Okay, so I'm Rogel Dawn. I'm the Primarch of the Imperial Fist from Warhammer 40k. So for several years now I've been taking uh, several photographs and small films of various cosplayers at the events that I attend. And this year I decided that I'll step into the world of cosplay and actually become a cosplayer. I like the Warhammer uh, size of the characters and at the end of January of this year Forge World released a small model of Rogel Dawn and I fell in love with it. So I contacted a gentleman called John Davis who lives in Wales and he's known as the Foam Wizard and I asked John can you make something similar to this Rogel Dawn character and this is what he's produced for me. It's so far it's had an amazing reaction uh, positive comments and lots of photographs from various people that like to pose with me. Well, the thing is, I've got some golf courses in Scotland and I've just been to Scotland so I want to check out the one in London. It's pretty good, there's a whole bunch of cool shit here, you know, but nothing's better than the dark. My favourite comic part of Comic Con is the guy dressed as Donald Trump. You know, no one does a better cosplay than that guy right there. It's been overwhelmingly positive. People see the Donald like, oh my god, it's a Donald Trump, I totally voted for you. <laughs> Believe me, no one here is a Hillary Clinton supporter. No one here is a liberal. Everyone here supports the Donald. Um, so, yeah, so I'm Kaylee, um, and I chose President Mike because I feel like I just related him to him so much. But he's just a loud character. He's just there, like a massive meme. So I just had to, I, just, I feel so close to him. <laughs> So this is actually just this wig, it's just a hollow piece of foam and it's just got weapons in it. So that's how I pretty much put that together. And this is all just foam. So. foam? Yeah, yeah, it actually didn't take too long to make, it's super light. So. People, people like it, yeah, it's like a massive meme, so <laughs> people really seem to love it. I love being in character as well, like I like did photos and stuff, so it's really good fun. <laughs> Oh, I, it's like it's changed me so much because um, I've met so many people through all the franchises like I've cosplayed in. So I've made so many friends, and it's just I feel so much happier <laughs> in, in cosplaying. So love it. I'm Storm. I'm Pez, and we run and own Cosprap, uh, which is a cosplay supply store in the UK. We supply wigs, foam, thermoplastics and 
all manner of other crafting supplies across Europe and worldwide. Well, we, we've been, we started since 2010, so it's been a while, yeah. It's yeah. been a while. It's been yeah. going a while. It's gotten bigger every year and cosplay is only getting more and more popular. Well, I mean, they're my two favourite characters. And essentially, for me, they're basically the same person, just from two different universes. The only one is, one does it by the law, and one does it just out of pure revenge and his own beliefs. But they're essentially the, they're essentially the same person. Just, and I think Cass would make a great judge. He'd be absolutely ruthless. I think he'd give Dredd a run for his money if he was a proper judge. He, he would take nothing. He would be like, litter, that's it. No ice, no if you're going down. Don't think so, it's not happening. He'd just, he'd just be absolutely ruthless. I think he'd be great at it. It's hard actually. I've got a friend who helps me. Helps me. We do our costumes together. So we just kind of, he's, he's my artist. So I give him like an idea. He does a bit of sketch work, sends it back to me and we have a look over it and we just change things around. I already had, I already had like the vest and stuff like that. So it just kind of added bits on. I picked up the, the plates from various places and the eagle and just, it just sort of came together with the helmet, it's got the skull on the back as well. Oh yeah, you got it on the back too as well. And yeah, it just sort of so what's came the best, together. What's the best thing about cosplay for you? I think I love the reaction. I've had a kid, I, I do a Punisher cosplay as well. And this little kid came up with the most amazing Doctor Strange costume I've ever seen. He had the tash, he had the cape and everything. And he came up asked my photo. And I heard he walked away afterwards and I said to my mate, whoever it was at the time, said, oh my god, that was absolutely amazing. He had an amazing costume. And I could hear his mum, I could hear the kid telling his mum, oh my god, mum, that was so cool. And it, I just, I love the reaction that you just get, it just puts a smile on people's faces and it's just, it makes you feel good. I also like walking around with a scowl on and then chasing people away because you, you get a bit of a wide berth when you're a judge. If you've got your big gun out and you're walking down, people kind of skirt around you a little bit, yeah. Um, mainly uh, a very unhealthy crush on Jason Momoa on both sides of us. <laughs> really? Yeah. And plus it works out. I mean, there's not too many brown skin heroes out there. No, there isn't. There really isn't. Okay. So it was like, it wasn't a perfect, perfect fit. Love the, love the actor, love, love the character, a whole new take on it. And plus like this armor is literally brand new, the movie's not even out yet. So are you getting lots of responses from people when you're yeah. walking around? Yeah, so far. Obviously, it's cons only been open like an hour, but so far, the responses have been quite good. Awesome. How did you put the costumes together? Um, are you going to go in the your first? Um, so my bodysuit is from a company called Heroes Time over in China, and they custom make all the bodysuits. Nice. Um, I wanted to make it more 3D, so I painted foam and like attached it all on. Uh, to make it more 3D, basically. Nice. And then this crown is from this lovely store here. Lanny down here made the crown for me. Oh, nice. So, yeah, and then I made this out of transparent warbler just as a prop, really. Awesome. So uh, and for me, um, the armor's made out of um, EVA. Then it's uh, it, it was it was coated in gold, then bronze, and then waterproofed. So wow, I, I can okay. actually shoot in water with it. Okay, that sounds like a lot of uh, work. Yeah, it was about three months build time. Wow. With with nothing but photos from San Diego Comic Con. <laughs> uh, I'm Red Guy from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Uh, really, it's just because I wanted something that was covering my face. <laughs> oh really? So it's working out pretty good for you. Working out pretty good. I can't see, but I'm fine otherwise. So how's the response, how's the reaction at this convention? Uh, well I came last year as this and it was pretty good. Uh, thought I'd redo it again this year. Uh, it's basically a builder's helmet with a plastic bowl over top of it with red wool glued to it. So uh, I'm Keldor, I cosplay. Um, I'm a Warsong Commander from World of Warcraft, which is a game that I love and I've been playing for 15 years. Um, I've been making this on and off for about two years now. It's a mixture of uh, foam, leather, um, 3D printing. I made the wig myself, which is I all dreaded by hand as well. It takes about three hours to do the body painting as well. It's quite interesting. We, it took us about half an hour to get in. So the general public were a bit like, who is this crazy lady? And then when I got in, everyone's like, oh my God, like, it's amazing. And it, it makes me feel so much better. <laughs> so I'm like a completely different person. Like, obviously I don't look like this in real life. But 
it's fun to be scary and aggressive because I'm quite a timid, nice person. So I like being someone else. Uh, so basically I'm a big fan of the Jungle Book uh, and I really like puppets so I decided to combine the two and make a giant snake puppet wrapped around me and I decided the best way to be in the middle of it was to be Mowgli as well. I like how your hand is actually in it so you can actually yeah. kind of move it around. You know. uh, I get lots of comments and this just makes you feel good that you put all the hard work in and then it's paid off. So how do they put the put together? This is Big Egg on for a year on and off. Um, I'm very bad at committing to something so it's um, taken a while uh, but it's finally done so yeah. How do you decide to bring a tuba to a convention? Um, they, well I decided to bring it because basically because I'm a brass player and I can and I don't know of anybody else who does this and it, <laughs> it's good for entertaining people. Awesome. So, how do people respond to you when they see you? Generally, I get a lot of positive response. Uh, I get a lot of requests from people to play their tunes, etc. And generally, I get a almost entirely positive response. What's the normal one request for you to play? The normal request I get is the Fat Guy tune from Family Guy. Oh. I usually get asked to follow somebody's mate playing the Fat Guy tune. <laughs> Just surrender cause you're coming and you wanna 